Hello everyone, this is Jim from Using Technology Better and today we're going to have a look at using different forms of media within Sway. Now I have my mountain biking Sway open and you can see I've got my title card and I've got one section in so far. So let's add in a new section. So I'll click on my insert content button at the bottom and when I click on heading one, you'll see that it generates a new section for me. I'm going to call this section my favorite writer and I'm going to insert a photo of them in here. So my favorite writer is Danny McCaskill. Here's a little photo of Danny. I'll just drag that in, which is cool. And now we're going to start adding in some of the media. So I'm going to click insert content again. Click on the media section and I'm going to start off by inserting some audio. And the reason I'm doing that is because it can take a couple of minutes for the audio to process. So when I am inserting some of the other stuff, it will be processing in the background. So click on the audio icon and you'll see I've got an audio card in here. So I can either drag an audio file that I've got saved in OneDrive or on my machine or I can record directly into Sway. So I'm gonna record directly into Sway. I'll get a little prompt down the bottom, counts me down, and now we're live. So now I have the opportunity to record what I want to say in here. So that's a really nice accessibility feature for some students who maybe their verbal communication skills are much better than their written communication skills. I can stop that. And you can see I've got the option to play back and re-record it. I can add it to my Sway or I can bin it completely. So I'm just going to add this one to Sway so you can see what that looks like. So again, it says it's being processed. That will take a couple of minutes to go through. Um, while it's doing that, you'll see there's a progress bar that's just appeared down the bottom here. That will continue to work its way up as we add more content. So now I'm going to add in a video. So I'm going to click my Add Content Plus, click the media again. I'm going to click on video. And you can see it's automatically changed to, to videos here in my suggestions. I'll just pick this first one. And I'll add it by clicking the button at the top. And a little description. Video is very cool. And you can see again within the text options, I've got the opportunity to emphasize accent, put bullet points, numbered lists. But along here at the right hand side of the card, I can decide the emphasis that I want on this. So let's make it intense so we can see what that looks like. Um, so I've now added some audio, I've added a video. Let's add some images. So Previously, we've looked at adding images alongside texts and headings, but you can actually just put the images in on their own. So image in here in the media selection, and you can just drag some of your images across. So I can just keep doing that. Let's pop a few in here, see what that looks like. And you'll see Now when I jump to my design at the top left hand corner, we can get an idea of what that's going to look like in this way. So I've got my first section from before, a little bit of text in between there, my heading card. This is my audio. I can play. I've set this video to intense so it kind of fills up more of the screen. And then I've got all these images underneath. Now, uh, I maybe want to change how that looks. So what if I change it from vertical in my styles, I'll just change it to slide. And you'll see I get these options here. Let's see if that's going to give me something that looks visually a bit more appealing. So this might be more familiar, it looks a bit more PowerPointy. So as I click through here, the audio slide doesn't look that great. 
probably need to add a bit of text or add a caption in here to kind of explain what that audio slide is going to be if I do want to stick with the layout. Maybe we go back if we go back to vertical, but we change the theme. If we have a look at this, oh, bright red, bright yellow. So we can see maybe that's going to look a little visually a bit more appealing. So that's how we insert some different forms of media in Sway. Thanks for listening. I'm Jim from Using Technology Better.